So, um, I was working on my recommendation and ponder with one of my Jason Bourne, but I he made the recommendation I'm by myself. He's on his life and whatever he's up to. Um, and um, Lou and Lynn, so I leave, I exit my in-house quiet panic room and I walk out um, and they're in the process of watching a movie called Wander D uh, W A N D E R um and my synopsis uh, only part that I caught because I didn't catch the whole movie I didn't watch the whole movie I have no interest in watching the whole movie I'm not going to watch the whole movie the last like 10 minutes were Maybe 20 minutes was enough. I walked in. There was a man who had his face up to the ceiling. Looked just like 1975 Tia Frio in that one capsule, in time encapsulate. And then he's in some mental ward with a locked door. And he's self-inflicted a wound to pull out a chip. And he had it in his hands, and he looks elated that he had a computer chip in his hand. Here's the deal. The real life docudrama, nobody ever admitted him to a psych unit. So, uh, the local crew that's known him since birth knows where he needed to go when I was concerned the first time and told his posse until somehow it turned on me and then I got advanced equipment turned on me went to the hospital for help and then was rerouted like the kaleidoscope dial change of scripting in this disgusting human tell that was grown with him as a part of it that I didn't agree to, but I don't know how to, I mean, you can't even say the word get rid of. I don't want to get, I want him, I wanted him to just exit my home and leave me and my children alone or to have never entered my set or scenery would have been really swell, especially considering the whole entire, like, Long Island crew surrounding him, seems to know a whole lot more than they're being held responsible for. And it seems to be billing me for some reason. So I got sent to the psych ward in real life without any justification or cause, just because the medical staff was so poor at Stony Brook University Hospital. Like, the nursing staff totally in inept and ill-equipped to receive someone, especially when they're asking. I mean, I'm crimes in process, and I entered this crime scene prior to my arrival. The crime scene was already going on, and the investigation was already in process. There's some understanding or overstanding somewhere in their profession I'm just trying not to step on landmines because you can't see them as I go through the day as like some casualty and mass casualty of left behind in the New York area by people I don't know how to address. I don't know how to beg for help. I don't know how to ask for help. I'm not supposed to cry because then some of them like that. I mean, like it's like really creepy in their criminal minds. And then in the professions that they enjoy. Like, I enjoy if I was in the right position in life. But here I am, not in that. They just <laughs> apparate out of nowhere. Because that's their God-given right. And they're trying to help, they swear. And then this whole surgical procedure winds up of trying to, like, detach a tail <laughs> off of... A known 
succubus, and here we are in, like, just got so much existentially worse, and actually, like, in generational gap, like, ruined personal reputation, because now I have to go on some public, I was private house, always, and just as whatever, but now I'm in a public whatever, kind of sort of on my private phone, I don't even know how that one works, not gonna ask a human, because God forbid they interpret something, um, so now, the name of the movie is W-A-N-D-E-R. They teleported in. I only saw about 20 minutes of the teleportation interpretation. I know it's significant, but just so everybody's clear, for some reason, T. Frio never got locked into a psych ward. I got locked in twice in this disgusting state of New York. Um, his head, by the way, since I'm the only, like, field medic, does not work right. His antenna, it is a switch. He's on a different electric system. I know he claims that he's, he pledged to the Republic and he is a Republic. Great. But arm's distance, he's dead to me, even though he's alive, walking around, and I would never hurt him, never take action against him. But I don't know how to work around him, since he poses a direct threat to my safety, sanity, and position in the world. So how do you operate that one, especially when you have two democratic crime and process parents and you already have that generational gap issue that the family knows about, but they're whatever, and then you've got somebody trying to attach other Americans. I'm like, the, I, I don't even know. Like, I'm in a whole nother boat with a hole in it. And I really don't see anybody coming to help a lady in distress. I see them just making more of it in image consultants and identifications for the interior that's all wrong. I mean, it's the catalog of words even got in the way and how to explain it to one another in some alien process. Um, so that movie is significant. I walked in on just the only snid bit I needed for my catalog job in count LL Bean count. Um, so there is significance in that chip. I said at desk when I encountered a human nurse in Stony Brook Hospital fucking shitbag whack job like really needs to be arrested for what she did. I asked for FBI, CIA, or a national security rep that I was undergoing something that was more significant and was not in, I, even though they brought me from triage to trauma desk for the emergency room, I just needed phone numbers to make my own phone calls because I had something that was going on that was not trauma-related. I don't have a bleeding gash, a bullet hole. I'm not... I don't need trauma nurse in the ER help. What I do need is a phone directory. Where do I look up a phone number for a agent that works the crimes in process in order to alert them to what's going on at cyber crime? Like, cyber genetic crime unit person. That's what I needed. But that's not what I got. What I got was a lazy human nurse, some dirt bag that stuck me in a bed, stuck me on some hold, some watch, and then never even, or the lazy ass never even picked up a phone call and called anybody at Department of Homeland Security or the cyber crimes unit in order to come and, and speak with me to see what I was encountering and what I was going through. That's the kind of world New York's in at the moment for, like, real threats. They've just totally ignored and neglected my safety, security, even with all of these 
organizations put in place and agencies put in place with some real life humans at some level, which I can't name because I don't know. They don't give out a directory or a rectory. And then when you're really in trouble, nobody shows up. But they made some plea agreement at some level, made some movie about it, and some parallel paradigm, because that seems to be what they're doing. So that's there. But I don't know. They didn't get all their details right, as usual. So um, my real life just seems to be getting worse and worse and worse. Not that the criminal children from everywhere that keep flowing into New York give a shit about. I know I'm their least priority, but somewhere in the world, there's one guy who really cares about me, and then he's got some contacts. I just don't know how to document the right words for him to pull the right levers in order to get to the correct combination for actually something useful and helpful within my life frame. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Ketteruz, it is Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxies, Broken, it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361.